A few months ago I got the Hyperkin HDMI adapter designed for the Super NES 64 and GameCube, which is this thing here. The reviews I have seen on it said it was okay for a kind of entry-level HDMI adapter for those systems. And when I got it, it seemed alright, but the first one I got had a audio fault where there was a constant high pitch noise in the background audio. And this one seems to have an intermittent audio fault where sometimes it will just have this white noise that gets louder and louder until you can't hear the game anymore. Um, so I wasn't extremely happy with this one. So that's why I got the new or newish RetroTINK 2X Pro uh, multi format, which I think came out sometime in the last few months. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to directly compare these two just for image quality in their conversions. Um, I think this one does look better, but you'll see soon enough. So I'm comparing it with the 64 Super and Nitro Capture. Now both of these, well this here uses the S-Video signal and uh, I got the S-Video cable with this. Um, these are both PAL systems and the PAL GameCube doesn't work with S-Video so I'm not including that in this comparison. This here uses an NTSC signal, so that um, that's just a little bit different, but let's go over to the comparison and have a look.
Adventure Racing! Time to rock with the bigger debug, bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger debug, bumble. Come to the bump to the bump to the base. Come to the bump to the bumble. Come to the 